All right, so it's time for another put cards away with me video. I have gathered quite a few uh, cards for my boy group's binder and it's getting a little out of hand and um, a lot of what I got is actually finishing a lot of collections. So I really wanted to take a moment to just put everything away, um, particularly because some of uh, the groups that I collect have announced more comebacks and some of them I need to gather more cards for. So I am going to take the time to take care of this now before it is uh, too much to deal with. So this is my boy groups binder, plain white three ring binder. Um, and we will go ahead and get started once I make sure that everything is all centered on the camera. All right, so we're good to go. So um, we're actually gonna skip right past the got seven section. I don't have any cards to add to that section. I've got a few on the way um, for the um, last comeback, but for now we're gonna skip right on ahead to the one us section. Um, I have a bunch of cards actually from, well I have all of the cards from Devil and a few uh lived fan sign cards to put away um one us did just announce that they are coming back in a couple weeks a few weeks or three weeks or something um so really excited about that um particularly because i think this i think i'm caught up on the collection i think there might be one thing that i'm i'm missing um but otherwise i'm mostly caught up so i think that i'm in a good place for that comeback to be uh here so the first thing that I have to put away is I had a couple of fan sign cards from the last round of fan signs. Um, is one of these a duplicate? No. So I've got, um, as you can see, I'm sure you can tell who my primary collection is. So I've got some more to put away here. The dilemma I have now is where do I put them? <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll do this. And then I have these two that maybe I'll just put on the back so that they're on the other side. Um, I don't know what order the fan signs these were from. This was an era of many fan signs like so many groups do now. So I just collected the ones that I liked the most once the prices came down. This one in particular was one of my favorites. This one as well, because I loved the choker. Um, this one I just thought was really cute. And then these two, uh, I just really like the color. So uh, I don't think I will be looking for any more of the fan sign or pre-order cards from this era, but I am quite pleased with the ones that I have. So that is that. Um, and then as I turn the page, so this will be where I start with the uh, devil collection. So for that, I collected both Huanung and Lido. So I have the, uh, I'm missing one of the album cards. I'm still looking to buy or trade that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's these two that were scratch cards. And then I did order through MMT. So I had a complete set of the MMT cards. So that is, I think, two nine pockets. And then I also collected the tarot cards. These ones I do have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have all of those, so I'll put those in a four pocket. And then from one of the versions, there was this uh, solo member postcard. I pulled this one and I am still looking to get the other one. So that will be a two pocket. So I will grab the pages that I need for that. And I will just keep them all here in front of the fan kit uh, stuff. So two of those, one of those, and a two pocket. So yeah, I had a lot of fun collecting for this era, actually. I was a little bit like, having three versions was a very new thing. Um, as someone who collects one us, I've been so used to two versions, but um, oh, 
I missed the rings. Um, so it was a bit weird collecting for three versions. Um, and there were a lot of inclusions, but the trading was pretty good. So I did manage to get most of them. So we'll go ahead with the, I think I will just do bias, bias wrecker. So I think we will just keep member versions. So I am missing one right here. And then I will go ahead and do scratch card, scratch card. One of the other inclusions for this was like a film card. Um, and I do have one of them, but I don't really feel like I'm going to like them in my binder. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with those. So we'll figure it out. But anyway, so regular album cards, this one I will need to find. And then I have the MMT set and so six members. So we'll go with the 222 pattern. Maybe if I get the other film card, I will change this to two rows of three and then I'll put the film cards at the bottom. But for now, this will do. I didn't grab more filler cards, um, so those will go there. And then in the four pocket, I think I will do one, two, three, four, and then these two I will put behind these. So with these, I kind of I like these like character tarot card type things. I think they're kind of fun. Or big photo cards, I think is what most people were calling them. Um, I don't know. They're kind of fun. It's nice to have something that easily fits in a four pocket that gives you more images. And that still fits in the greeting card, so it's not that big of a pain for trading. So I had to trade for most of these, and it wasn't that bad. I just put them in a big greeting card. So we got those ones. Two back here. And then the postcard I will just put sideways right here and someday hopefully I will get the second and then they will go there so that is my updated one us collection so lived is done devil is almost done those are done this is almost done and then I will be able to start with a new comeback right here and this is I like this as a little divider. I don't really know why. I just, I like it as a divider. So that just stays at the end. So next what I have is I have my one Wii collection, which I do collect OT5. Um, and I've been putting, they've been doing two cards per member per album and they have three like mini albums. So here is the first one, which I've already got completed. Here is the second one, which is also completed and then I was working on um, Memory Illusion which I had pulled two members cards so I'm going to pull these out essentially I will find something to do with these I'll stick them in the front of my binder for now um, so I do have all of the cards for this so I think these are a set. This is a duplicate. So this goes with one, two, three, four, five. And then this one, I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So I think what I want to do is I want to put this set on the front and the other set on the back. I think that's what I want to do. And I didn't sort these, and I didn't do anything to, like, make these make sense, which is unfortunate. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. I will attempt to put the members in the correct place. I'm really bad at remembering their age order for some reason. It's a problem. Um, 
So the back was in a cross pattern. And then one, two, three, four, five. So we will go one, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I think I did this right. All right, so there is one we, so we've got their first, first release. We've got the studio recording. We've got memory illusion. And then I have some of their like on tact. Uh, cards, their first on tech live. Um, I know that there were bookmark inclusions with Memory Illusion. I didn't collect all of them. I just have the one that I pulled from my album. Same with for the first mini album. So for this one, there were postcards and I have a few of them, but I just didn't bother um, collecting all of them. So probably won't put those in my binder. They will just stay in the album where they came from. Otherwise, I'm good to go with one Wii, feeling really glad that I finished that set and, you know, ready for another comeback, ready to have them release some more music and give me some additional ways to support them. So, really exciting. All right, so we're gonna move forward. I don't know. All right, so now we have Baekhyun, Kai, Exo, Super M, Tame in shiny mashup section of my binder. Um, so for the Beckyon photo cards, what I have is um, two things. I have more of his Japan cards. So um, he did this Japan release, which did come with photo cards, but there were also some clear cards that were a pre order benefit, I think, through the fan club. So what I did is this is the card that I pulled from my album and I chose these two to complete the middle row because they were my favorite. I think what I'm going to do is I'm to put the super close up in the middle and then I will put these two that are farther away on the outside. This one was my first priority. This one was my favorite from the set. So I went ahead and grabbed that one and then I have the set of the six these are actually clear cards. They're not uh, regular photo cards. Uh, they're in like plastic, so I just left them in there. And so now I need to figure out how I want to put these. I think we will do that. And that, I think that looks nice. Um, there are, I believe, three more regular photo cards, three or four more regular photo cards, and um, it was already getting kind of hard to find them, so I probably won't try and track them down since I do have a complete page now. Um, they weren't like my favorite concepts or selfies or pictures anyways, so I feel pretty good about this. I'm still like feeling a little bit sad about Becky and I know I knew enlistment was coming um and it was pretty clear from the pace of his releases that he knew enlistment was coming um and we're yet to see whether this means that I start to collect some of his earlier cards some of his exo cards now that I'm basically uh nearly done with his solo and the exo cbx unit um Inclusions, I'm kind of thinking, mm, do I want to go back and collect some of the earlier things? I'm not super sure how accessible some of them are. I haven't really looked, so. But anyways, Japan release right here, and I will follow that up with my pulls from Bambi. Um, so I did get a full set, so I got um, one of each regular version, then one of each jewel case version. So I do have, um, the four, 
four photo cards, the two concept cards, that is not a backhand card, and the two concept cards. And I do intend to try and complete this full set with all of the jewel case concept cards, photo cards, all of that. Um, but again, it's going to be a slow going collection. So for now, I will put these six on a page by themselves. So I think we will go ahead and we'll just do two, two, and two. So we'll do these two. I have to say that these cards with him with the dolphin balloon are probably my favorite. Definitely my favorite. Not probably. Definitely my favorite. So I need to get for sure highest priority is getting the rest of those because they're really cute. So there is the Beckian side of things. Um, and then we will move on to Kai. Um, plus some stray tame in. I have, I bought one version of Atlantis. So I do have shiny specific things to put away. I am not ready to put them away yet. They're still with my other stuff. So I think I'm going to separate these out and put them with my collection of cards that I have no explanation for. So these are from the solo album. So this is eight cards will go on their own page. And then I have these. <laughs> so I have no explanation for these cards other than I had some sort of weird like breakdown one night on Mercari Japan and was buying the Kai solo cards and then I found a bunch of his EXO cards and I was like these are really cute and then suddenly they were in my cart and then suddenly I forgot about them and so imagine my surprise when I'm opening my Nyokyo package and I'm wait this is a Bekyan I'm dumb sorry anyways I'm opening my Nyokyo package and I'm like wait why did I buy these? I didn't need these. And yet here they are. So I will definitely adopt them. But first I need to, yeah, this is, this is silly. I don't know why that didn't go with the Beckyan. I know this is Beckyan. So Beckyan, the tiny child that he is, I'm just going to put this one right here for now, just as a placeholder. I know that's not an order, but whatever. We're going to go back to here. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two Taman cards with these six Kai cards in front of his soul album stuff. And then once I put away the rest of my shiny stuff, I will have to rearrange that once again. Um, again, another case where I really genuinely do not intend to try and collect all of his EXO cards. Um, there's a lot of them. I have looked at the templates. I'm not particularly interested in getting into that. Um, but these ones accidentally fell in my cart. So who am I to deny this individual if he chooses to launch himself into my shopping cart? That's what we're going with. No one argue with me otherwise. So we'll go ahead and placeholder these for now. And then I've got four more of his solo albums. I have solo albums, solo cards. I don't know what version any of these came from. Um, so we'll just put them pretty randomly. This one here, this one here, and I don't think I'll be looking to really collect any more of these. Um, in particular, this card and this card were probably my favorites of the ones that I didn't pull because I pulled this one, which I love. I pulled this one, um, but I have really wanted these two. So when I got them, I was like, that might just be it for my collection. I might look for one more just to fill the space. 
um, but otherwise that is that. Then I think next we get into Super M, which again I collect Taman, Beckyon, and Kai for. Um, I did collect all the unit cards. These were just pulls that I kept. Um, and then these are from the Korean release where I have, again, all of the units, the group card, and all of the individual cards. And I think what I will just do is I will actually put the group card in the middle. I will put the three units down the bottom. And then I will put the three selfie cards on the top. And then that will round out that collection of the Korean release Super One photo cards. Which again, I was able to find for very nice prices on Mercari Japan. So that basically completes, I think, most of what my Super Super M collection goals are for right now. Um, I'm still on the lookout to see if I can get... I have one ID to trade for one of these two, and then I would need to buy the other one, but I'm thinking I might, in the future, just look to do that to complete this page. move past the postcards and move on to only one of. So um, I just filmed and posted an unboxing to their latest album. Um, I obviously have the pulls. I have not sleeved them, so I'm not ready to put them in my binder, but I do have some previous album cards to put away. So I'm gonna need one nine pocket just to fill that space. Oop, just knocked over some stuff. And people are being noisy outside, so that's exciting. Let me pick up these cards that I just knocked over. So I've got oh, I'm gonna need more than one nine pocket. That was silly of me. So what I've got to put away is I have got the other nine card from their first mini album. I've got a nine card from their previous mini album. Uh, the one that had a song of fire and ice on it. I have the other ones and I'm realizing that I don't know where they are so I didn't sleeve them so I don't have them in front of me to put away so that's awkward. Um, but then what I also have is the complete member sets from both of the photo concept books that they've done. So they did um, Unknown Art Picks 1.0 which had one set of photo cards in it and then they did Unknown Art Picks 0.1, which was like the long hair concept. And so that also came with the photo set. So I have both of those. Um, my collection is a little bit like weird right now. Um, my collection goals are to collect nine Rie and Jimji, but as you can see, my polls are kind of a regular, like not my pulls are not perfect to make that happen, so I just am leaving it like this. So I'm gonna take the produced by part one and I'm gonna put those here. Um, so then that way the Song of Fire and Ice card can go here. This will need to move up once I find the rest of those. And then I will move all of this down because these three cards were from their second mini album. And then I will just move nine down one. So I kind of suspect that I will never actually complete the first mini album collection, um, particularly for him, his cards are almost impossible to find. Um, I think I found Rie's other one on Mercari Japan and it's in the Neokyo warehouse. So I'll have 
two thirds of the ones that I collect. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I feel like this might be a collection that just is always going to have some holes in it, just because the cards are relatively scarce. So that's all right. Um, and at some point, I will finish the produced by uh, part one and two. Uh, eventually a page will go here for uh, Instinct Part 1, but then I need two more pages to um, put the photo card books in. The photo card books? The photo book cards in. <laughs> and I will just keep those in the back before the larger album inclusions. Um, seven members, so I'll do two, three, and two for my layouts. So we have KB, Love. This is probably one of my favorite photo cards of all time. It's just so absurd and silly and cute. Um, it's just like, it just makes me laugh. So got uh, them, them two. We've got Rie, we've got Yujung, we've got Junji, got Mill, and Nine. So there we go. We've got two filler sleeves right here for them. So that was the Unknown Art Picks 1.0, their first photo book release. And then on the second page, I will put Unknown Art Picks 0.1. Again, same order. They look so weird with long hair. It's funny because like Junji has had long hair for a really long time. And now all of them in this photo book had really long hair, except for him who had short hair. And it's like, what? <laughs> for why? <laughs> so... So yeah, I'm really happy with this collection. I think it's coming along really nicely. It's a slow building collection just because card availability is not super consistent, but I've been I've been getting there where I can and it's been nice. It's been a, a fun growing collection. All right, and then the very last thing I have to put away is some Elast cards. So um, here I have the First, their debut mini album, all of their cards. Um, each member had two cards. They're in no particular order in these pages. I just put them in the order that they landed. Um, but we've got that. And then I have Awake, which is their second mini album. And what I'm going to do is they have the white concept and the blue, the navy blue concept, and then they have these cards. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do blue, white, and then these cards. So I'm going to need two more, two more sleeves. Oh my gosh, this binder actually is maybe reaching its limit. I might need to take GOT7 out of here and put them in their own binder just so that I have room for all of my groups. So anyways, I was gonna do blue, white, and then the plastic cards. So, so there is the blue set. Um, I'm terrible age orders. I know he's the youngest. And He's the oldest, but not the leader. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I should know this. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna do this. This is just gonna have to be how it goes. I'm gonna figure it out later. Um, whose face do I want in the middle? I don't know, we're gonna put you in the middle, sure. Behold, as I don't know age orders reliably. All right, so, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Seven means that you need to go here. 
All right, anyway, so there's a complete of the uh, navy set, and now watch as I don't put them in the same order as they are here. It's professional. All right, so I've got, again, five. We will put you, um, for reference, since I don't remember if I talked about it, so Wanhyuk is my main bias in this group. Um, I would say that Chan is my next bias, if I had to pick one. Why do I feel like this is wrong? Is this not this album? Am I dumb? No, this is this album. Why am I, why do I feel like I'm missing something? What is happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god, this one is the same. I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> I was, oh, I was still looking for the Wanhyuk one. That was the one that I was missing. Oh my god, I'm blind. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. So I will need to find that one eventually. Uh, once again, I don't know what order I'm putting them in. Ha, huh, okay. So it's almost complete then. So I've got the blue version, the white version, minus one. And then I have the space for the plastic cards, which I have, again, one repeat, and I am missing uh, one yuck. So, yay. However, I do have six of the seven, so someday... Someday I will have all of them and it will be fabulous. I didn't put this in the right order again. Anyways, so we've got this. Um, I have all of the postcards from their first mini album. Um, this is not complete. I need to sort through them. I have the rest of the individual members and the units in a pile. To put away i had been waiting on more three pocket sleeves before i could sort them so i will be doing that uh, probably in the next sorting video but then what i do have is more of the four cut cards and actually i think unless i'm blind and i have duplicates i think i have all of them yeah i have all of them so I'll go ahead and I'm just going to double these. I don't want to add another page because I'm starting to run out of space in this binder. So we've got, you can go there. The backs of these are all the same anyways, so I'm not really that worried about seeing the back. And actually, this hair is too powerful, so it needs to go on the front. So I got four, five, six, and seven. Um, and then I think that's it. I do have some, like, I have some wavy cards. I have some shiny cards. Um, I definitely have some ENOI cards, I think, that I need to put away. But for now, I think we will end it there because I have no more cards and I also have no more time. So that is it. That is storing things in my boy groups binder. Once again, um, I have a pile of girl group cards I need to put away. I have astro cards to put away. Um, and I have to set up a second binder for AT's Fever Part 2. So those will be upcoming videos that I will film, but for now, um, I hope you have a great day, and thanks so much if you watched. Bye!